Gemini, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Gemini, sun, moon, and rising sign. It's Gemini energy. So even if you're not a Gemini birthday, like why did this pop up in my feed? Because there's a message here for you. You could have Gemini placements that are being triggered right now in your natal chart that you don't even know about. So if you've come across this message, it is for you at just the perfect time. And this is where the message begins. We have Taurus energy. You could be dealing with somebody who's quite formidable and stubborn. But let's let's take it at face value first and foremost. Learn from the past. An elephant never forgets. This is the energy of learning. It's the energy of becoming wiser because of what you've been through. Um, it's also the energy of knowing that you don't have to take any because you, you've been here before, right? And you're not about to lose your ground. In fact, there's a stampede forward. Think of elephants pushing forward. Everybody get, better get out the way, okay? Even the mighty lion better get out the way. They don't mess with elephants a full-grown elephant bull stampede, just, they're going to die. Like, so this is the energy of, you know, you, you have all the ammunition you need. You have all the knowledge that you need, Gemini. You have all the experience that you need to move forward and make progress. And you should. You should use every single part of it. And it's stable energy. This is, like I said, it's Taurus energy. There's stability here. So there's a certainty in what you have, what you're working with, and what you know, and definitely a way to move forward or almost like a sure thing or, or you're certain. Or if not, it, you, here's the beauty of this card. You don't have to be certain about your situation. This means you're certain about yourself in the situation or direction that you're headed. And that's so much more secure because then you don't have to rely on everything outside of yourself to maintain that stability, but instead you, the stability is coming from within. So let's get deeper into this message and see what the heck you're charging forward on, uh, what, what you have experience with, what you know about, why you're here. Gemini, Gemini energy. Please guys, if you need a personal reading, Go to my website. I do provide those www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. You can book and schedule right there on the website. And all the readings come within 24 hours of whatever day you booked them. If I can get them to you quicker, I absolutely will. I know you guys like your readings and need your messages. Remember, whatever cards fall out during this process of me dividing the deck, I'm just going to leave them where they lay because it's part of the message and part of the process. They belong there. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, that was when I'm going to ask you to please subscribe to the channel and then ring that notification bell and select all notifications so that you will know when I upload your favorite content, but also you'll be alerted when I go live because I do free public tarot card readings on here. And if that's something you'd like to participate, definitely subscribe. You also have the option of joining one of the channel memberships and getting access to the members only live chats, which are really in-depth and intimate groups, um, kind of like group therapy, actually. So check that out. Check those options out as well. Gemini, we got to know about this situation. What I'm going to do is cleanse the energy. You're going to hear a little ring. Gemini. 
A rebirth is assured. Change. You're making a comeback. And I kind of feel if you want, I'll attach the link to a last week's video above. If you haven't watched that, please watch it. Um, I feel like you've been on this trajectory with making a comeback. And like this is just right on par with what's going on. And I, I really actually adore this energy right now for you. Um, if you look at the card, it's, the bat is just starting to wake up. So it's not necessarily a week where, or at the beginning of the week, where you're ready to take flight or ready to take action. This card indicates awareness. Maybe even in some ways, a change in your awareness or awakening within. So that now there's wisdom, right? You've learned from the past and you're starting to awaken to a new trajectory based on what you know, what you understand, and the facts that you have, okay? And then we have take time out. This could be that sometime during this week, you're forced to just sit the fuck down. And it happens when you're pushing yourself too hard or you're up against a really formidable foe. And it's not good to sort of, it's not always good to, it's not good to run. And it's not good to confront. Bears are... You're not going to win. So the way to defeat a bear or the way to make them um, ignore you is to curl up in a ball. You know, like, like don't like almost almost a sense of passive. And that's why it says take time out. You're dealing with an energy that's very, very strong. Now, I know you're coming on strong. You know the direction to move forward. You're awakening to some new reality. So it may be part of your strategy to kind of just let them reveal their hand or whatever this is to take to take a step back from pushing so hard right now to be more strategic or intellectual and then we have set healthy boundaries so this could represent um somebody coming at you somebody that that yeah that may, basically you haven't known how to deal with but at one point at least by the end of the week you're going to have to you're going to have to set boundaries with the bear so that somebody is it's almost like somebody needs to be put in their place, Gemini. And by the end of the week, or this is your trajectory, this sense of awakening to it, realizing it, recognizing it. Oh, I see where this is going to go. I got to put this motherfucker in their place real quick or it's going to become an even bigger problem. In fact, they already are a big problem. So maybe this is your challenge this week is... Um, sticking up to somebody you know hold on we're gonna get the whole seven day play by play it could be seven days or seven steps that's it's up to your situation but ultimately what i like to do is get the cards for the seventh day and see where our resolution is and then how everything plays out steps one through six so how does this week resolve there's a wheel of fortune here a rebirth is assured so luck is on your side with this situation i love i love that god wanted to make you aware of that it's almost like maybe that's what you're aware of you're starting to become aware of the, your advantage in this situation because of your experience with this situation. So now you know how to handle or put somebody into place in a more effective way. So how how does this week start off? Like what's what is what is one? Step one, day one, what's going on here for Gemini? We have the star card, aspirations. Aspirations, you're doing something that you wish for or a wish come true or a sense of the truth. There's truth in your actions, truth in your behavior, or recognizing a truth, realizing a truth. And then we have sticking up for what you believe in, even if that means taking a turn. 
or going in a different direction. It's almost like now you realize that telling the truth or standing by your truth or what you desire or what you what you want now is going to mean that you is going to mean that you insist upon standing upon your morality, standing upon your truth, standing in your integrity and that to do that you might have to go a different direction. You might have to, you've been holding on here, right? You've been in a place of just sitting there, sitting where you are. And now it's like, you don't want to be there anymore. You don't want to be in that place. Or you know you can't be. In order to maintain your integrity, you've got to move in that new direction that you've sort of been scoping out. And now it may take to, may, may be the time to do it. Gemini, this is step two. The next move. We have um, an act of faith. So being actually moving in faith. That that's what the Knight of Cups is. A decision to move in faith. A decision to show your hand. A decision to demonstrate what you care about. Okay. So this would be to act upon faith. Act upon it out loud. And then take action and fight for it. Um, determinism, the sense of knowing exactly what your next move is. This is Aries energy. Maybe this is you having faith in an executive or a higher power or no, this is usually like grandfather figure, patriarchal energy, um, somebody strong, somebody powerful. Um, or you're realizing that people, if this represents an aspect of you, people have faith in you. People are having faith in your ability to move them forward. Or people are having faith or somebody has faith in your ability to move forward. Your independence. This could even just re represent your having faith in your own, in your own powers, in your own um, skills and your own capabilities of making the situation work. You know that you can. This is very seasoned, experienced energy. So number three, here we go. Something came out in the past here. We have the two of cups. So there is sort of something maybe went flat or a partnership that didn't go so well. That could have something to do with what you know. A partnership that maybe wasn't meant to be or a partnership that wasn't so healthy or happy for the people involved. And then we have suddenly it's brought to light. Suddenly there's light shown on the situation. Or there's suddenly this energy of starting from that point and getting a fresh start after this ill-fated partnership, right? This sense of whatever this partnership was, there is a sense of that's where your ammunition lies. That's where your light lies. That's where your trajectory lies. That's that's where your way through lies. Oh, it's starting to see how it held you back. It's starting to see how it caused you a lot of fear. It's starting to see that there was fear and there was toxicity here. That's, that's what's being revealed. I don't know if it's your relationship or somebody else's partnership that you have access to information, but there is there was definitely toxicity here and that's sort of being exposed. And then for some of you, literally, this could mean forming a partnership or getting a new chance with a Capricorn specifically. But I don't, I don't think that's for most of you at all. Uh, I think it's more light shining on how imperfect a situation was and how something dragged you back or dragged somebody else down. And that could be, it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to get myself in a situation like that again. Um, so it's like taking some time out and that's the hanged man, which this card always reminds me of this sense of, okay, so now let's see things from a different perspective. Let's look at it from a different point of view. And that's what's leading to this enlightenment, this enlightened state. Gemini. So what is what is being revealed here? For, so who your real supporters are, right? Who really believes in you? 
or seeing seeing something from seeing something from a different perspective maybe seeing marriage or a relationship from a different perspective or seeing um stability from a different perspective from, like by looking from a different perspective being able to see you know where your foundation is where your home is where your stability is seeing something as stable that maybe you didn't see as stable before you didn't see that there was a support system there before but there is and then we have day five There's disappointment here, disappointment in the past. I don't know why. Maybe it's facing disappointment from the past. Facing disappointment from the past. Finding strength in it. Finding strength in something, a loss that you suffered from the past. Facing it, facing that fear, facing that fear of disappointment, understanding it. So that's where the understanding comes in. And in, in understanding why this disappointment happened, you're able to sort of look that fear in the mouth or look yourself in the mouth, look the aspects of yourself in the mouth that disappointed you from the past or that you feel, or now you're willing to realize, oh, this led to my disappointment and now I'm going to get that under control. i got to whip myself into shape. Mm. six it's almost like owning the ammunition somebody could use against you or owning your fear and recognizing that maybe whatever happened to you made you afraid and that's why you had to kind of come to terms with it then we have Taurus so marriage this could all have to do with commitment commitment issues that you or a loved one has had to face Right, that it, it feel, or you're dealing with an actual Taurus, but it seems like some sort of traditional system, some sort of long term commitment. It really all comes down to how you feel about it and transforming your perspective on it. Because we have the lovers here, which is a beautiful connection that may inspire you to see things in a different way or be coming at just the right time. It, it may be that you're sort of um, like all this is happening to you in your awakening because there's somebody that you're destined to meet and it's like preparing you to connect and get together with them. This is also you. This could have to do with a Taurus Gemini situation that you were dealing with. This sense of facing it, owning it and forgiving it and moving on from it and being able to maybe love the idea of committing yourself or a long-term commitment or even specifically marriage again we're going to get into day seven but let's get a moon card we have a new start is coming a new start is coming a new beginning brand new start Clean slate. This is new moon. We have a new moon coming in Libra. Could be trying to many of your charts. That will really work out for you. But that's two weeks from now. But it's almost like I'm ready to just let go. I'm ready to begin again. I'm ready to start over after this crazy ride that I've been through. A new start is coming. Almost redemption. Let me get uh, these cards. I want to go over to the extended reading. Gemini, the link is down below in the description box. I've also pinned it to the top of the comment section. Just head on over to my Vimeo channel, Born Without Boundaries Tarot, over on Vimeo, and you can grab that there. So there's something here that you've had to deal with over and over again, and a message in a bottle. 
It's like a never ending story message in a bottle. So something, the catalyst this week for all of this coming to you is that something that had been bottled up and hadn't reached you yet finally comes and brings all this shit out. But you have enough experience with it now to know exactly how to handle it put it to bed, put it to rest for good, including the way that it affects you emotionally. Let's get to the extended. I'm going to do day seven over there. I'll see you then.